Hey, what's up? It's Mina. Thanks for tuning in. So I thought I'd do something different today. I am going to see if I can try out for Songland. For people who don't know what Songland is, it is a competition on NBC and what you do is you submit a song. Each episode is themed so they will have like some sort of celebrity singer come. So let's use Lady A for example. They had an episode and so all the songs that were selected for that episode were country. These songwriters come on the show and they perform their song. There's these judges there who have written a ton of hit songs. They perform it for the judges and for the celebrity singers. So then those songwriters will work with the judges and they will kind of polish up the lyrics or the sound of the song and kind of just like rework it. The group will choose whatever song that they like the best and they'll record it. So in the Lady A episode, the song that they chose was Champagne, Champagne Nights. Yeah, Champagne Nights. And that song is actually like all over the radio now. And I think it's won, they've been nominated for a couple of awards and stuff. So it's a really cool show. I don't know a ton about it. Honestly, I don't really have a lot of expectations. I've only written a couple of songs, um, but I figured, you know, I don't really expect anything out of it and it's just something fun to do. So follow along while we do this. I have my laptop here and I'm just going to look up the audition. So I literally don't know anything about the audition process. So we're really doing this together. So I just Googled NBC Songland and let's find, oh, look, these are the judges. They're super cool. Shane McAnally, he's known for a lot of Casey Musgrave songs. Ryan Tedder from One Republic, you know, he's collaborated with like everybody. And Esther Dean, she does like a lot of R&B, um, has worked with Rihanna, um, Katy Perry a lot. Okay, so here's Songland. If you've seen this logo before on like albums and stuff or like songs that you've seen, because I used to see this and I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a movie that literally just everybody did a soundtrack for. But if you see this as the album cover, that means the song is from this show, which is so cool. So I bet there's a lot of songs that you didn't know about that are Songland songs. Like Megan Trainer has a really good one. Um, so it says create your artist account. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Be right back. Okay, so I signed into my account. So here we are under how to apply for Songland. So first you have to sign some paperwork and then you have to upload your song or song. So I guess the most that you could uh, submit at one time is two songs and then you'll do the lyrics and then you put a photo of yourself, of course. Um, and then you could do a video link. So I guess if someone has like a music video or they recorded it as a demo, they could submit that, but I don't have that. All right, so I've signed my name and I've submitted that. And now it has an even more extensive application. I feel like I'm definitely too much of like a rookie for this, but you know what? We're here, might as well do it and try it out. Next step is um, the professional bio and the personal bio. And this looks kind of tricky. So the professional bio, they want you to write 200 words and they, or more, and they basically just like want to know about like your musical journey and stuff. So it says, for example, who inspired you and how long have you been songwriting slash producing? What is your songwriting process? What is your favorite genre to write and why? How many songs have you written? Have you written songs for major artists? Biggest musical accomplishment. Um, so this one makes me feel a little sad about myself because no, I have not written any songs for major artists because I don't know any major artists. Um, but you know, I think it's always good to be the underdog. I think everyone loves a good underdog story. I think that in shows like this, people like to see regular people succeed. You know, they like to see someone who is just like them accomplish something really major. And I think it gives people hope and it's kind of like the whole American dream thing. So that's why I'm applying anyways, because, you know, I do believe that dreams can, can happen and that you can achieve big things, even if you don't have connections or if you're not like super rich and powerful. I'm gonna work on this a little bit. I have some idea of what I'm gonna write. So like obviously I'm gonna say no, I haven't written any songs for major artists. And then for the biggest musical accomplishment, I'm gonna put down that I got a callback for The Voice, which I think will be good because Songland and The Voice are both under NBC and they're both done by the same casting company. So I think they'll be like, oh, we gave this girl a chance for The Voice. Like, you know, she's a decent singer. Maybe we should consider her for Songland. So I think that would be cool. And then I've only written three songs. So that's easy for me to just say I've written three songs. Um, 
and then I'll just kind of like talk about my songwriting process. So I'm gonna go work on this. All right, so now we are gonna go to personal bio and it says, tell us about yourself. For example, what do you do for a living? How would your friends describe you? Have you reached your personal goals? Do you have any regrets? Sorry, I need to put my phone on silence. How would your friends describe you? Have you reached your personal goals? Do you have any regrets? Tell us about your family. Do they support you? We want to know the good and the bad. Your hopes, your dreams, and more. It's time to get personal. Must be 200 words or more. So I'm gonna work on this now. It'll probably take a little bit. This one also has to be 200 words. So we'll see what I come up with. I'll talk to you guys when I'm done with that. Alrighty, so I finally finished writing my personal bio. Um, it took a really long time, again, because I could not hit the 200 words, and it's kind of difficult to talk about yourself. I'm going to save and continue, and we'll go on to the next step. Well, hey, it's Mina. So it's actually the next morning. Um, I didn't have enough time to finish the application. I had things to do. So it's the next day, and we are going to keep doing this. So I submitted that last part. We're now on step four of nine on the forms. Uh, sorry if this is boring to people, but I know that when I look into things like this, I want to know like every single detail. So, oops, sorry, I almost knocked over my water bottle. So I love knowing all the details and want to know like every single step of the way. So this is for the people who are actually like really curious about the process. All right, so this part looks like it's going to be pretty easy for me because I'm just going to say no to most of these answers. So this is kind of sad. So it says, have you been or are you currently signed to a record deal? No. If yes, please record or please provide record company information. Not applicable. Is the song you are submitting published? Nope. It says provide publisher information, NA. Do you have any other music related contracts or distribution deals? No. List any performing rights organizations of which you are a member. So I'm not a professional, so I'm not a member of any of those. Have you ever been on television before? No. Are you a citizen or legal resident of the United States? First question that I can say yes to. Yes. Um, are you legally permitted to be in the US? Yes. Um, would you be able to relocate to LA for a period of approximately eight weeks? Um, I have a job, but honestly, if this came up, I wouldn't care and I would just go anyway. So we're gonna say yes. Is there anything else you want us to know? <sighs> what do I put in here? Because I feel like maybe if I put something fun, like, you know, it'll catch their attention or something. Maybe I'll just be really nice and I'll be like, hi, I hope you all are having a good day. Smiley face. That makes me seem like fun and nice, right? Whatever. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to send that in. They probably were not talking about that, but whatever. It doesn't hurt. Okay, so now... I have to upload my first song and they are probably thinking that people who send in their songs, it's like really nicely produced and like, you know, it has all this fancy stuff on it. I don't know how to do that. I don't know anyone who does know how to do that. So I'm literally just gonna record it like right here, probably acapella because my keyboard just does not sound good. It's kind of like a cheaper keyboard. Um, I'm really grateful for it, but it's not the best quality keyboard, so it doesn't sound very great in recordings. So I might just sing it acapella. I don't know, maybe it would catch their attention. Here's my perspective on it is I feel like a song that wasn't super manufactured and produced would still have a chance because at the end of the day, if the song has a good melody and good lyrics, it's still a good song, you know? And the point of going on the show is for them to help you like produce this music. And so I think it's still worth the shot submitting something, even though I don't have all the tools or the resources to make it sound good. But I think I'm just gonna submit it the way it is in it's like rawest form and hopefully they can appreciate that. And hopefully they don't just like cast it aside because it sounds like a very DIY thing, because it is. Um, but you know what? We're going with the whole underdog thing, so. You know what, we're just gonna give it a shot. All right, let me go grab the lyrics and let me grab my microphone. All right, so the song is called I Don't Exercise and the story behind it is someone who really likes to chase and the minute that the person that they're chasing shows interest in them, they are gone because they're really only there for the adrenaline rush of the chase and they don't actually want a relationship. I think this one's really fun. I'm really, really proud of the lyrics. My vision for it, if I had like, you know, all that knowledge on how to like make music and all that stuff, 
I would want it to kind of have like a dark disco sound. My dream would be to have Dua Lipa sing this song because I think she would sound so good in it. So I'm gonna record it and I'm just like struggling because I'm like, I know I don't sound great on this song because it's not a song written for my voice, but I want to submit the song because I really like the lyrics. And I think with some work and some guidance, I think the song could be really, really good if I could just get it out there somehow. Also, do you like this fancy setup I have? It makes me look way higher tech than I actually am. <sighs> I don't know why I'm so nervous. Like if it doesn't sound good, I can just delete it and re-record, but you know, you just want to do it right. All right, here we go. I don't exercise, I don't like to run, but something about chasing boys is my kind of fun. The minute they show the slightest interest in me, the game is over, I'm leaving as quick as can be. Hey, what can I say? I'm a girl who likes a challenge. If he tries to stay, I leave him like a savage. If he doesn't text me back, I find it so attractive. If he plays hard to get, you know I'm all over it. I think that was good. Let's listen to it back. So I just listened to it back and it's okay. I think there's just like a lack of emotion in my voice. I don't know why because I do feel passionate about it and I thought I was having fun, but it sounds kind of dry. So I'm gonna go in, try to figure out how to add some harmonies, um, just like basic stuff, and we'll see if it helps it out a bit. You know I'm all over it. To run, but something about chasing boys is my kind of fun. Okay, so I'm pretty satisfied with how it looks. Also, this lighting is crazy because I've been sitting here for hours and I'm still not done with this. So I think I'm gonna add one more layer of harmonies, literally just for two words, just because I think it would sound cool and I'm already here, so I might as well do it. Um, and then I think I'm just gonna submit this song because I've been sitting here for a really long time and I have things to do. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna add like a higher harmony. I don't know all the terminology for like the third, the fourth. My brother's like super into that. I don't, I just sing whatever I feel and whatever comes to my head. So it's the thrill of the chase and we'll go, it takes me to a higher place and then Higher place, takes me to a higher place, higher place. Ooh, that sounded good. Let me play it for everybody to hear. To a higher place, it's a chemical feeling that adrenaline rush is so appealing. I don't exercise. Even if they don't choose this, I'm still proud of me for coming up with those harmonies right now. Cause that was, oh. So good! Now it's song two. I got this boy, I got this boy. Just more confident. I got this boy, no. I got this boy, and he seems too good to be true. And I tell him if you ever don't love me, please just leave me, save me some dignity. I don't want your pity if you ever don't love me. Don't stay with me. My heart will be breaking from all of the faking. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Well, I got really into it, so I think it was pretty good. Let's find out. So now the application is asking me to upload photos, um, which I don't have professional headshots or anything. Cause again, I'm a normal human being who doesn't do things like this. So I'm thinking I will submit this photo. And eh? luckily we do a lot of family photo shoots at my house. So I have some options. So then this is the second photo I'm gonna upload. My hair is kind of very large in this photo. I got that maximum hair volume, but I think I look kind of glowy in this. So I think I'll submit it anyways. And I don't really have a lot of options. So this is the one we will go with. So they also have this um, video link that you can put in and it says it's optional. I guess all there's left to do is just submit it so here we go honestly if something were to happen because of this i would be shocked um someone would really be giving me a chance 
So I'm just going to submit this and I'm just gonna still live my life and we'll see what happens. Here we go. It says, congrats, your casting application has been successfully, successfully submitted. And then here's a PDF copy. So I'm just gonna download it just for memory's sake. So that's the process for auditioning for Songland. I hope that you found that interesting. I hope that you learned a little bit of something or maybe you're inspired yourself to go audition for Songland. Definitely do it. It really only took me about four hours. <laughs> it's kind of a long time. Um, but I'm excited to see what happens. And yeah, let me know what other types of videos you would like me to make and I will see you next time.